It's feeling like it's going to be a light day and I'm just wanting to buy, buy, buy because you never want to come away with nothing. And you never really do come away with nothing, but some days are smaller than others and I don't know, I still want this to turn out good. Man, I had some wild flea market adventures just before COVID hit, you know, and I, a lot of the stuff I'm just now getting a chance to go through. We had some really neat adventures, and I got to tell you, this next adventure started a lot like the last one. I'm finding stacks of games everywhere, but people are just too high on them. I don't know how they're pricing these things. I think they just think about what they paid for it initially, and they come up with a number that they're okay getting back for it, but that's not reality. And it's a shame because I'll make a, you know, I'll make a deal on anything that you want to sell me, but we have to be realistic. I've got to get it for the right price and you can't be going on apps on your phone and you can't be going by any of that. I mean, all you're going to get is all I'm going to give you. I finally come up on a dude that I've dealt with before and he's always real fair and always has good deals and you know he's got some stuff for me to look at today. So he's got an Xbox 360 copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 and it's not the first one I'm seeing today it's just the first one that's reasonably priced. You know, I always pick this game up. I don't have to tell you about Grand Theft Auto 5. I mean the game broke like seven records for entertainment sales you know on its launch night i was there for the launch night it was nuts i mean man again i don't have to tell you about it but i try to pick this game up anytime i see it unless they just price me out of it he's only asking five dollars for this thing He's still unpacking too, and he pulls out something that I'm definitely looking for, a Wii U game, and it's complete. Tekken Tag Tournament, I mean, this game did not do well. It just didn't. I mean, I remember it coming out, and they're just, and a lot of them getting traded back in. For whatever reason, the Tekken people just weren't having it. We couldn't get rid of these things. And you know, the older iterations of the Tekken Tag franchise, I can recall having trouble getting rid of copies of those games too. For some reason, it just doesn't click, which begs the question, why'd they make another one? But at any rate, I think it's pretty cool. And here it is for Wii U. You know I'm on kind of a Wii U kick with Wii U Volution this year. This one's complete in box and he's willing to let it go for $5 too. Five dollars a piece on these, that's great. And I'm not even gonna haggle, I'm gonna tell you why. I mean, there's there's an etiquette to follow. I mean, yeah, we haggle a lot, which is why when there's not a fight to pick, don't pick one, you know? He's given me a great deal here, I'm just gonna take it. I mean, you sit there and you nickel and dime people and you try to lowball them too many times, that creates, a, that creates a bad chemistry. If somebody gives me a good price, a lot of times I just take it. Next time the price might not be so great and we're gonna to wanna to ask for some money off. You don't wanna come off as the person that always does that if you don't have to. $5 a piece is great on these. We're taking them. Now I'm finding a game I really want. And, and that's, that's, that's what makes these outings. It's like, man, I'd like to find that today. And there it is, you know? And no, this isn't a rare game. Splinter Cell Blacklist for the Xbox 360. Talk about another game that was really cool at launch, albeit a much smaller launch, but a very, very cool game. With this game, we saw the return of Spies vs. Mercs multiplayer, a campaign like no other, just a phenomenal game. But one that I traded back when it was actually still worth something because I was in the middle of so many other games. I've got to get this thing back. Yeah, no, I mean, what is this? Day of the $10 games? Everybody's saying $10, $10, and I'm just walking. So many of these are just not worth that. And old 360 games, generally, 
are not worth that. He's got a Dead Space 3 here too, which is another one that I had and got rid of that I wouldn't mind having back. No, it's not the favorite of the uh, fans of the franchise, but it wasn't a bad game. It was around at a time that EA was doing some cool DLC crossover stuff between stuff like that, Kingdoms of Amalur and Mass Effect 3. I won't pay five bucks for Dead Space, that's retail, but five bucks on Blacklist for it in this condition? Oh, that's that might as well be retail, but I want it, so I'm gonna pop on it. We're taking it home. It's feeling like it's gonna be a light day and I'm just wanting to buy, buy, buy because you never wanna come away with nothing. And you never really do come away with nothing, but some days are smaller than others and I don't know, I still want this to turn out good. So here we go, I mean, it's like a bad dream. A table full of games. Okay, well great, right? Not great, they're all individually priced. And, and, this, and this gal's going on and on about, you know, oh, well, it's this much and it's that much. And it's like, no, it's not. And then we start trying to deal and, it, oh my God, this is the worst. Gets on the phone. Oh my, come on, man. Do you want to sell this stuff or not? You can sit on it till it hatches a chicken. Makes no difference to me. You're not selling these at those prices. I find a disc only copy of the PlayStation 1 Harvest Moon and I'm like, okay, this is worth something. But I, here's the trick. In situations like this, you've got to find something that's not worth it to them. Yeah, it's a little busted up around the edges. It needs buffing. So I start, you know, I start breaking her down on that. We agree on $5 for this one. So here's one of the rare EverQuest games, Champions of Norith. You know, a lot of people, if they have that, they don't, they don't know what they have, but here it is. I love EverQuest. EverQuest pen and paper books are compatible with third edition D&D. That's why it's kind of cool to me. We use a lot of those books as source books in our campaigns. But this game is not cheap. I mean, it's worth some money. I've got to get this one for the right price. I do 15 on that. It's complete and it's mint and she's not attached to it. So we're getting it for $15. Whew. Even that's more than I really want to pay, but knowing what this thing's valued at, I'm going to do 15. At least we're walking away from two games from this table when it really seemed like we'd walk away with nothing. Here we go again. Another table loaded with games, okay? And they just don't want to deal. Everything here is priced too high. And you know, none of it is extraordinarily valuable, but it's all overpriced. It's, it's the worst case scenario. And you have days that are just like this. It's nice to have stuff to look at, but you really hope they'll make a deal. You know, I've been on a bit of an original Game Boy kick here lately, trying to build a physical collection of those bigger than I've had in the past, and they've got some here that I don't have. They're wanting $2 a cartridge, and that's not horrible, but again, I'm, I'm fed up with paying exactly what people are saying. I want a deal. A couple years ago, I decided to start more aggressively collecting these things, because they're always so cheap when I find them. and. You know, th there is a specific nostalgia trigger in there for me on the original Game Boy games. That green screen, I don't know, there's just something about it. We got Tetris Attack. I played a good bit of that on Super Nintendo. Not familiar with the Game Boy Edition. I don't believe I've ever played this. 
it's kind of cool. Uh, unlike Championship Pool, which is a game that is almost as exciting as watching grass grow. I don't know. It's one I didn't have, so we're adding it to the stack. And then you get Looney Tunes, which, you know, it's a functional platformer, and it involves Yosemite Sam, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, for the right price, these are totally worth scooping up and adding to the collection I've got going. So we're getting three of them for five bucks. What, I mean, give me a dollar off. Make me feel like I've done something. I mean, my God. Pulling teeth out of a crocodile's butt trying to get deals today. But getting three Game Boy games I didn't already have, that's cool. Man, this is not the uh, largest day I've ever had here. But, you know, at the same time, they can't always be. And, you know, a lot of these folks out there where it's always the biggest thing ever, you really got to wonder about that. Come on, man. No one's luck's that great. And we've had some fantastic luck on the show. But every once in a while, there's a day that's just not as big. It's still great, though. And we've got to look at the smaller days as well as the bigger days. That's just the reality of it. The important thing is when you're in the green every time okay that's the important thing and that's why we continue to do it there's always something cool to come away from it with and we definitely did that today got games that i wanted for the collection got games that are definitely worth more than what we shelled out and again that, that's that's why we do it so fantastic hey are you enjoying the series do you like these games? Have you seen these games? Have you played these games? Do you want these games? You know that I want to get a conversation going with you right here on the show, so leave me something down in the comment section because you know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Mer Show, something that we do a lot of, and I hope that you like this video and that you're going to drop a like on this video. Be a part of Mer Nation because we're rising above the fantastic things that we do right here on the show. You need to be a part of it. Make sure that you smack that notification bell. So you're always the first to know when new uploads like these go live. You know we want you in on that action. Fantastic action on this one. Always a good time, and I'll see you on the next one.